Hi class, this is Mr. Robles. I'm recording a really quick video here on creating your free Onshape students account. Um, so some of you guys should maybe, possibly most of you made an account on Onshape if you took Introduction to Design the previous semester with Mr. Gripley, or if you came from another school where you took Intro to Design, uh, especially while we're in COVID time and you're doing distance learning and most schools are, most teachers are using Onshape to teach introduction to design or introduction to engineering remotely. Um, so in this class, you're coming in here and it's kind of expected that you're already ready to start doing some CAD from basically the very first day of class. Um, so for that reason, I'm creating this quick video on how you create your free Onshape account. Uh, we have this assignment where you have a free draw about me project, uh, super quick, super simple design project that you guys are doing for my product design and manufacturing class. And for this assignment, you need to create something in Onshape. In the video that I am highlighting here, I give some instructions is telling you guys to get logged in on Onshape and get it to work. If you don't have an Onshape account, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to onshape.com. You're going to click, uh, actually, I think I'll be able to click request the trial, but um, anyways, we're going to click sign in. And here, we're not really going to sign in. What we're going to do is we're going to click on sign up. Onshape.com, sign in, and then sign up. You're gonna click on request education account. Request education account. When you do that, find the button that says create a free account. And you're gonna type in your name. Um, so for this particular situation, um, I'm gonna go through the process as far as I can creating a student account. I'm not actually going to be able to go through it without creating a um, erroneously fake email, uh, but we'll go through the process. So um, I'll use an email address, uh, just a fake one here. It might be real, it might be someone's real email address, I don't know, student at gmail.com. Um, it probably is someone's real email address. Hopefully they don't get some spam after I do this. You have to use your personal email address. If you use your school district email address that at ftu.sandy.net, most of the time your school district email actually blocks third party messages which means that when you try to register for this third party software, which is on shape, you might block that registration email. So make sure you use your personal email address. I'm gonna pick students, school level is K-12. Agree to the terms and conditions and create account. Hey, look at that, that email's taken. Okay, let's try again. On shape, sign in, sign up, request EDU account, create free account. See what happens if I type this out. Students, K-12, terms and conditions, create. Great. Onshape for now thinks that that is someone's real email address. Your school name, you're going to pick Kearney EAD because you are a student at Kearney EAD. For the school website URL, how am I going to find that? Um, I could tell you what to type in, but I'm going to show you where you can get it to copy paste it. Go to Google, search Kearney EAD. I told you guys I spent a lot of effort uh, making the ECO SEO work so that EID pops up and people Google it and then copy paste the email address out of the URL bar, not the email address, copy paste the web address out of the URL bar. Uh, when you copy paste it, it's going to copy paste it with HTTPS So get rid of the HTTPS and forward slashes and then it'll work. City, San Diego, 
California, United States. Graduation year, if you're a ninth grader for the 20, 20, 2020, 2021 school year, you are graduating in 2024. And you're using on shape, just say you're using it for class. Uh, you are over 13 because you're in ninth grade at least. Agree that you're using it for class purposes and we're agreeing to the terms and conditions. You're not a robot. And then finally create account. Now this should not actually go through the process because I used a fake email, we'll see what happens. But these are the steps that you're gonna go through. Hey, look at that, we're sending you an activation email. What's gonna happen, I don't know. Anyways, guys, so this is the process. Uh, like it says, your email address uh, could not be verified or something. Uh, I hope one of you uh, maybe uh, don't copy this, actually. Um, so make sure you use your personal email address, create your Onshape account. Then you guys will be able to get logged in. You'll be able to click on these references and sample files that I'm going to be giving you guys from this class. So get signed up, use it. Remember your password or save it on your computer. All right, guys. See you in class soon.